Uh, are we? Uh, yeah, here we are. Hi. Welcome to the UK Vape Show episode 274 with Munchkin Reviews. Here's Munchkin down there, looking all happy. You may Hi, have Munchkin! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> you may have noticed we're pudless. Pud is currently sitting in a caravan. That's basically all That's that is that. to say. <laughs> Yeah. And what what's your opinions on caravans, Vic? They suck. <laughs> Why? Oh, what the fuck is the caravans? point? Aiden, you're quite partial to a caravan, aren't you? I am, yeah. No, no, I didn't. No, 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 no. Uh, how about you, Munch? Uh, I why not? Some bit of stage, it's different for him, isn't it? Why not? It's a tin shed with windows. There is nothing oh. wrong with laying there in a caravan um, when it's raining. And you can hear it on the roof and you're going to sleep, it's lovely. Oh, I see, that's the nice part is the rain and you hear the rain on the car like that. Speak soon. Hmm. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to the UK Caravan Show. I am your <laughs> <laughs> So, joining us today, we have the one, the only, Mr. Bro of the Little Bro Vaping. We also have Mr. Flatcap of Flatcap Vaping. That didn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Yeah. I no pod. And we've also got Munchkin from Munchkin Reviews. Who shall we pick on first? Gaz, because he looks green. I'm very green. Yeah, I'm very green today. Sorry about that. <laughs> One of those days. Um, what am I vaping on? Um, I've got the, the, the bulk, the Ume bulk on the on the grus. Gr on, grus. The grus. 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 on the grus. On the grus. grus. Um, in there, I'm down to my last little bit of Curious Curdle by Rochford Projects. <sighs> Sad times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Dead Rabbit V2 on the Inikin MVP5. That's a very white setup. Yeah, it's all white, isn't it? Um, oh, what? It's all white. white um, I've lost the bottle. I'm on Untold Chapter 2 by the wonderful Vape Mill inside oh. of that. Um, I need to talk to Harley about this because the the the, the sentence Aiden, I don't know what you think. Uh, I don't really want to read it out because it's so confusing. I'm confused. I didn't make sense. Like one of the sentences, did it? There's something fruit on fruit. There's well, a. I, I read like a five year old anyway, so I put my glasses on. So I'm thinking, is that me reading it or, uh, <laughs> yeah. or the way there's, I actually wrote? There's some weird story going on. I haven't even read the other two bottles yet. There's some story going on, but I have no idea. It's definitely a Harley story, that's for sure. Oh, well, oh, there excited we go. with the sticky floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, lastly, I'm not on lot tonight. I'm on the Watofo Manic. Oh, I just got that mod. in a couple of days ago. Mm, the Manic. I've got code red in that. That is what I'm vaping on this evening. And that's what Mr. Flatcap's vaping on. Mr. Bro of the Little Vaping. I just want to say caravans are a lot better nowadays. When, when <laughs> I was younger... <laughs> You see, caravans when I was younger, you didn't even have a toilet in them. Oh, for fuck you used to just have to do it in the bucket. <laughs> you did. Now they've got toilets and showers and all sorts. You used, used to have shower blocks that you, people used to poo in and all sorts. <laughs> but we've got the uh, Cold Steel 100 with the Aladdin from Keys. Um, we have also got some lovely Rochford Project, which is the Crimson Seed the Jam Tarty. Ooh. We've got the Hard On with the Supreme V3 with some, I'm loving this range, which is the Nexus range from, uh, I'm, I'm looking at that, Pod Salts. Uh, this one's Citrus Mix, really, really nice. I've got the Mini Can, which does not leave my side. I think this is absolutely fantastic. That pod's four weeks in and it's still going nice and strong. They do last We've got long some time. Doozy Frozen Berry in there. We've gone then got the uh, Hayita Ink. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Again, with some um, Nexus. This one is really nice. This is Fuji Blend. It's Fuji Apple and Peach. Oh. And then, because I've just I've just uh, washed the Jewel uh, Wasp Nano, I've got the Wasp Nano on the Chroma R, the, one of the most sexiest mods in the world, with some of the Illiterate Untold. That, and that's me done. That's a lot of stuff you're vaping on today. It's a hell of a buffet. <laughs> You'll be on my six can of relentless. On <laughs> <laughs> six round, lock round the block. <laughs> and passing over to our special guest this week, Munchkin. Uh, mine's is quite boring because, like I said, I've just come in for work. So I've got the free to drag two kit and um, 
fa vapor holic you've got for fun as ice and cola, which is quite nice actually. It gives you a bit of SAP training. <laughs> but that's literally it. That's all I'm on. I've not got all these mods lying about, so uh. That was a very short buffet to offset Aiden's very long buffet, Matt. Um, <laughs> it's the usual setup. I've got some what looks like tar sitting in my tank. This is actually a tobacco that I'm testing out for another company. They went overboard with the flavouring. It's way too fucking strong. So I had to put a little bit of VG in there and it's still fucking dark. Look at that. Way too much flavouring in there, but it's a nice tobacco. They need to tone down the naturally extracted part, though. So it's the cog. With the uh, Mono SQ, as always, I have got the other. Uh, I've got the uh, other black kelpie on the on the Q Mini, and I've got the peach custard back in that again. And I've got the other Q Mini back from the studio because I'm done testing that Ultrona Gaia. 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 That's the one. I'm done testing the Ultrona Gaia. Found a little problem with the screen. It turned out it was the one that they sent me. It was nothing to do with the retail version because they actually sent me a pre-production one. But they've also sent me some retail ones in the retail packaging. The retail ones were fine, just the one I was using. So I'm back on the uh, brand of Q Mini on the Kylan Mini version too, and of course Black Vine is stuck in here. Mm. Out of interest, Vic, with the with the gear, did you have the original, the Stabwood version? Yeah, got got the Stabwood version up. It's the same. It's the same screen. It's the same board, it's the same chip. The only difference between the two versions is the one fro the one that's out now can take twenty one seven hundreds and the and the board is a slightly upgraded version, but I'm not noticing a difference between the two to be honest. Yeah. I'm not a lot noticing of a like, difference. I do like the look of the new one, especially the green one. Amazingly enough, <laughs> yeah. Well, they sent me this. I think they sent me all all five of the major release colors, and I'm not a fan of green mods, but the green one does look rather nice. It's definitely a flat cap green, but they yeah. do look a, a frosty one, don't they? I see the fro the clear. They look really nice. Yeah, yeah. I think if I don't know if Bill's in chat. Bill said he's he's ordered one. Yeah, they look um they do look quite smart. And uh, then, full moon, it is that lemon lush is absolutely gorgeous. Also, somebody else, <laughs> yes, nine days to go. I am getting excited. Nine days, you're past the hump now. You're, you're on the downward slope into getting pushed on November 1st. Big shout out to everybody who has supported me as well. Uh, £1,850 we are at. Um, we've still got another auction going and we've still got another £100 to that. So we smashed the 2K. Do, and that's all thanks to you a lot. Are you not concerned? I wish a show once and people had to try and stay awake for as many days as possible. And I think they got to like seven days and eventually the winner who stayed awake passed out. Couldn't couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep for another day. Just couldn't sleep. Are you not worried like you're gonna try and drink and you'll be like what your pain won't let you? Uh, I, th I think the, the years previous will help me that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think thirty one days is gonna let me forget how to drink. <laughs> you know, it's, when, it's like when you quit smoking and you start vaping, your taste buds change within a couple of within not long at all. Mm. Maybe you won't like the taste of beer anymore. You thought about that? Yeah, that's why I'm going for the vodka. Nah. <laughs> Straight for the spirits. Straight for the spirits. That's what I would do as well, to be honest. <clears throat> Thank you very much, everybody, though, who has supported it. You've all been absolutely fantastic. The vlog will be out tonight. If you've not been checking that out, that's on Urban LBV, my other channel. Go over there and check it out. There's a vlog every night. So it's, it's been a good giggle, and the sport's been amazing. And thank you very much for everybody supporting it. We, we normally get about uh, four and a half K that watch this show. So if you haven't donated, if four and a half K you just put a quid in, that'd be brilliant. Um, just one pound. One pun. One pound. <clears throat> okay, there's an interesting question. Norse Vapor, vaping with Vic, do you have a tip for a good whiskey? If you've never drank whiskey before, go for a Speyside malt. Say that again? What? If you've never <sighs> drank whiskey before, go for a Speyside malt. They're more mild, they're not as PT and rough. Well, rough, that's a bad word. They're not as PT and heavy as the Highland malts. Go for a space hide. I used yes. to love whiskey, I really did. And then it, I got really poorly on it once and it doesn't taste really it nice. Does, yeah, if, mm. it's, it's, normally if you have a bad experience with whiskey, that puts you off drinking it for the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> it's, just, yeah, it's just the smell of it now. It brings back memories of really swollen rice. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice, though. I did try it. When it came back up, I was like, I never ate all that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, no. I did try an Eliquin before that was whiskey. 
It was awful. They generally are. I've tried the. I've tried whiskey. You like because they were fucking horrible. Yeah, they're not very nice. I've seen a few come out. Anything like mojitos and things like that, different flavors, and there's a rum. Well, there's a few weird ones. Oh, you're right. So you're a regular whiskey drinky then. Whiskey drinky. Whiskey drinky. What? Like regular whiskey drinker then, North Glen Glen Glenmar Glenmorangie La Santa. That's a 12-year-old sherry cask finish. And then get the... No, in fact, I would start with that one. Glen Morangy La Santa, you'll like think that. Think about what Paul drinks. I think Paul, uh, Vape Don't Smell, I think he drinks... Um, it's Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich 12, I think it is. Yeah, that's that's the standard, Glenfiddich 12. That's the standard. It won't when he were at the Hilton, hill, to be it honest. was nearly costing him £15 pound for a double. At Expo. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't he just bring his own bottle? He drank that. <laughs> <laughs> well, for even. Fifteen pound for a double. See, that's yeah. why I don't like drinking within the expo itself. The fucking prices are extortionate. That's why we've got Pud's car bar. Exactly. We do have the car bar. Yep. <laughs> Fully stocked. We've back fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when are we going to see another expo then? It won't be until next year, obviously. I, I, I don't even think there's going to be one next May. Yeah, I honestly I think don't right. think there's going to be one next May because the NEC's booked up the contract booking for the Nightingale Hospital is up till April the thirtieth of next year. Even if they were to get every single cleaning company that ever existed in Birmingham to run into the NEC and do a full clean from the roof to the floor, which is what they're legally supposed to do, essentially sterilise the whole building, they still won't have enough time to get everyone into the expo and set it up. So I don't think there's going to be one until next October. Well, you've also got to think financially for the organisers, a bit like you, you as well, even being in the entertainment business. You know, these... These companies have got to somehow survive without putting these shows and exhibitions on. It's like, how it's is it even going to be? It's absolutely impossible. And yeah, the, the, he... the problem, what you've got is, you know, if you've got somebody who does put events on and he runs it from his house and he hasn't got actual premises, you can't get anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You yeah. can't get any support at all. So we, we, we've, we've been out on a limb. The thing is, you, you, you've, we've had to sort of pull things in. We're, we're surviving. But that's what it is, is, is you're surviving. You've, they've now, they're going to give you 40%. Well, that's what they do. Thank you very much. That was better than the twenty. It was better than percent of it. It was better than the twenty percent they were originally planning. Yeah, though. well, of course it's yeah, anything. It's an extra uh, bonus, but that's not too bad if that person's already got the ten grand. If you haven't got the ten grand, <laughs> yeah, it's, you yeah. know what I mean. It's it's not. It's, they're not helping the people who who just can't go back to work. Damn, there's because a name. I, there's a name I haven't seen for ages, Mister Steve Clarky Clarkson. How are you doing, Steve? I haven't seen you in one of these chats for fucking ages. How you been, Steve? I'm just waving. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> right, Munchkin, Munchkin. Let's talk about Munchkin. Oh, here we go. Um, right, the hair's done. I'm ready. I'm set. I'm go. What? It's okay. <laughs> this this is the nice bit where I just talk about your channel. Oh, okay. For a minute. Um, Munchkin Reviews, your channel was created on <laughs> on the 14th of July, 2020. Mm -hmm. It's very, very new. Currently at 119... Three days after my birthday. Huh? Three days after my birthday. Oh, so that's... Can have birthday. That was nice of you, Munch. <laughs> it's a present just for you, Aiden. Oh. Um, currently at, but actually might be higher now, hopefully, if people have subscribed. 119 subscribers, mm -hmm. 12 videos, and you, you've very recently gone over the 1,000 views, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, you, I, I don't know what you guys think. I think you created a couple of waves when you come in. Obviously, first of all, um, your your dad, Skin Vapor. Mm -hmm. So that's um, been great. But I think having another female reviewer come on the scene, especially in the UK, is a breath of fresh air. Um, and I know you, I think, was your first live on the bitches? Or were you on with your, your dad? I was on with Jules. The first live was with Jules. So. That's right, Jules, Jules. Yeah, yeah. Um, so first of all... you were on with us. What, what? You're on with us then, weren't you? Yeah, after that, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, how much, how much of influence did your dad have on you starting the channel, or, or? Uh, probably quite a bit actually, because I, anybody that knows me outside of like working out and else, I'm quiet and I 
when they say book their ghost. So, <laughs> so for rank for for me to do something like this is quite like out with my like my normal kind of thing. But it's given me a lot of confidence actually, and it's been able to sit from me if it's speaking to a camera or speaking to people and on lives and things like that. It's, it's actually really helped. So it's one good thing. Um, but yeah, no, it did give me a wee kick up the backside and see if I should do it. So but why not as well? <laughs> give me something to do. <laughs> Does your dad get much involved with your with your channel and what you do, or does he leave you to it? He just leaves me to it. The only thing um, we really do together-wise is the, the reviews on his channel that we both do together. That's obviously because we've got such different tastes, and he likes all this dessert shite. Um, <laughs> 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 how, how long then before before you get fed up with featuring on his channel and... Tell him, no, I'm not having this anymore. <laughs> oh no, no, I still do it. I still do it with him, even if I get more famous than him. I'll, I'll, I'll remember him at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> it's quite nice. So I do like that. That it's when people bring the wives in as well. You know, like obviously um, Matty does it, doesn't he? And yep. also Ian above the clouds. It's nice when when there's a family member or two of them doing it. I think it's really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it's something I know. Uh, uh, yeah, Ian, by the clouds, on it recently. I thought it was brilliant. And his wife yeah. on it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, this is it's been fun. Um, what was I going to say? I might change this book. I've had. A, I told you guys earlier. I've had a message. So the vape book might change. Mm -hmm. we, we need some theme music as well. <laughs> well, that means I need to make a bumper and shit. Yeah, we'll just we'll just hum it. <laughs> 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 I keep doing ITN news. That's not. This is, no. this is your life. Bing bong bong. <laughs> Someone please record that and make a little bump out of it. <laughs> That's called payback, Aiden. So, where do you see your channel going forward? Are you, what's your sort of plans? I don't have a lot of plans. I just, I mean, I've got a shit ton of juice that I need to review. And it's all sitting there, but it's trying to be working things like that. It can be a bit, oh, it'd be quite hard trying to not sit there at any time. Um, and hopefully, there's some more hardware reviews, but I'm still quite new as far as building and things like that are concerned. So, a lot of that is still quite new to me, but I'll learn as I go along, really, and then review some more hardware reviews as well. And you see where it goes from there. I'm not in it to get like, thousands of subscribers and all that crap. I'm just doing it for it because it's a hobby and something today. So you're starting uh, off like all of us really started is is starting off with juice reviews and they're the yeah. perfect thing to start off with. Yeah. Juice reviews. Get yourself yep. a bit of confidence while you're on camera and, and how everything yeah. works. That's that's mm -hmm. always been the big thing for me when when I started was knowledge and, and uh when I started I didn't really have much not I probably shouldn't have been reviewing. Like and you you kinda of have to pick stuff up as you go along. And and even now, like there's still things that have come out in the past that I'm like, well, I've never ever seen that before. And you, there's people in chat who know so much more than than me, and you know, other people. It's just mind blowing. Speaking of knowledge, and um, being a new reviewer, I thought mm. we would test your knowledge. Oh boy! Oh. <laughs> I don't I don't need to take this because I genuinely, when I first started, I I I I submersed myself in learning about everything mm. vape from previously and what new stuff was coming out so just a very basic challenge you hopefully you'll absolutely smash this and then i won't be called an arsehole um <laughs> <laughs> so what i'm going to do basically is i'm going to show you a handful of different mods and just name them and then we'll do, so name them of, yeah. we'll do this when, it, when it actually means that you can't like call it sue rita bob <laughs> or all like that yeah. oh no <laughs> i'm gonna call that one kevin <laughs> <It looks Honestly. laughs> um and anything you don't anything you don't know the answer to aiden and vic will i'll when i say if you don't know say you don't know in the moment you say you don't know whoever of you two guesses right first wins that's good uh, magic, isn't it? right we'll start off with this one <laughs> not that no no don't know odin Oh, yeah, I can't see it. <laughs> the best thing about it, he looked like some carol singer out your window. <laughs> <laughs> Do a Merry Christmas. 
Ready for the round number two? I'd like to recall no. your answer. Munch, you'll get this in, in a millisecond. I know it. Yeah, I probably. Oh, it's the Geek Faith Which one, though? Which one? Which one? That's the legend, isn't it? Got yeah. it. Here we go. Well done. Well done. I prefer to call it Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> On to Vanessa. <laughs> Oh, it's a Maybe piece like of shit. Oh, for God's sake. Vic, stop talking. I can't see what it is. A little hint there. <laughs> it was leaking. <laughs> um, it looks like a drag, but it's also not a drag. Is it a drag? Oh, well, it's, it's also a drag then. So. Bonus point. It's the single battery version. Right, got you. Is that the drag? I don't think I could tell that. It's because of the circular bit. If you, it's got to give me a drag. You, could pick it. you get a point for that. Yeah, yeah. What drag is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one up. I think Scott Morrison's recently bought one of these. It looks like a top side, but I don't know. The top side, Joe. Scott yep, way. Another yep. point. You're smashing this. This is easy. Right, let's up the ante a little bit then. Oh. Um, I, know I feel like we're doing this at 12 o'clock and there's that little um, bloke for the deaf people at side. <laughs> 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 yeah it's like every time i hold a mod up you two do different dance moves it's <laughs> the best thing i'm even watching it i'm just trying to figure out what it is <laughs> short run <laughs> bugs bunny how <laughs> Right, that is the Elmer Thud mod. No, <laughs> no, guess. Well, you, you boys know what it is. So. Double barrel. All right, oh. last, last mod of the evening. This one's. A, I don't expect you to get this one, it, but you never know. Might, might do. Ah, oh, I've seen it a bit, but I can't remember the name of it. I, I didn't know what it is, but I don't. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! What is that? The grabby, the grabby V two. That's right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right, moving on to tanks. You're taking the first one. Moving on to tanks. It's the um. Oh, that's the that's the thing. Is it... There's oh. no way. Is it? Is it? Is it got? Is it out to the wheel, Ogden? <laughs> <laughs> And wins. <laughs> well done, Tom. Next one. No, no, you're not. You're not massively into rebuild, so I'm sorry. Some of these are probably about unfair. I should have. That's fine. Got some others. It, it's a laugh anyway. Isn't it? Oh, I've seen that one a bit as well. I fancied this one. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, uh, oh no, it's no. I'm thinking juggernaut, but it's not going to be with juggernaut. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, what I, you I do, what you, what you do on a piece of paper? If you, if you, if you drink too many ciders, you get a you bit get proper. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's right. it's only when you've had six of them, it's just a mini uh, water. The bottle, that's it. Got it. These are all random, so I'm, I'm sorry, they are a bit random. Um, another green thing. Oh, the wasp mini thing. Hey, that do it. Well done. Oh. Right, two more, two more. This next one, yeah, a little bit challenging, but you might, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know what that one is. Oh, it's an Anakin piece yeah, of shit. That's correct. I don't know why. I don't know where it is. <laughs> right, last but not least, um, you've got to get this one right. By the way. Oh, really? Yeah, or was you in trouble? Oh, the antique. What? <laughs> no. Oh, no idea then. I tell you what, I'd have pissed myself if she said the FP. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I can't remember what, what it's called. It's some so, strange horse. Yeah. I know you've got the same one. I see it. I see it. Yeah, he fucking designed it. I can't remember the name. <laughs> oh, you've got the same one. <laughs> <laughs> well oh, done. You did really well, well there. Good job. Yeah. 
I thought we could play that if we had like some. So no disrespect, much whatsoever. If we had some, no, like some of you who've been doing this a long, a long, longer than me and you and everyone, then we could really challenge them. Definitely. Do you know what? To be honest with you, I, I was struggling there. It was <coughs> um, impressions that did it all for me. <laughs> <laughs> Zan, Jesus Christ, Skint, you did not teach her anything. Oh, no, 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 don't. It's, when I started, honestly, I I genuinely struggled because there's... I there's knew what it was. I knew what it was. I just couldn't remember the name yet. That's what it was. Can well, there's something that comes out. Shift, I'm like it. <laughs> I don't know. Well. Munchkin, don't worry about it. Obviously, me, do you know if I walk into um vape shop on corner and they'll go, oh, little bro... What do you reckon to this? And you're looking at it, you're thinking, I ain't got a fucking clue what that is. <laughs> the guys at VPZ do that to me, and they always seem to pick an Anakin product, and I don't fucking review for Anakin now. I haven't for the past three fucking years. What do you think of this Anakin product? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. It's shit, like most Anakin <laughs> products are these days. How does that go? <laughs> All good, Scuba. Thank you very much, buddy. We've just hit about 2K, and we're on the home stretch. I'm on the... Uh... Relentless. I don't know. Can drink. Oh, last time I drank. Last time I, I had a can of an energy drink that that big. I got like to half a can. I was bouncing, literally just bouncing off fucking walls for hours. I couldn't get to fucking sleep that night either. Oh, I feel pretty good. I've had a nana nap as well this afternoon. <sighs> I had one as well up at the studio when I should be working, but I wasn't actually had a nap in the couch. Yeah, I had a bit of a nana nap. Oh, Guys, how many the... caps have you got? Oh, One, God, two, three, four, go. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> thirteen caps. Yeah. Do you want we want to play a game and know what they're called? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. What size <laughs> is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's yeah. up with Snyder. We're going to uh, cast this question. It fuck is it? Fuck so it is. I haven't even got the fucking Facebook page up. Hold on. Talk about mm. yourselves. UK Vape Show. UK Vape Show. Meh. Mr. Lord John. Cheers for the 50 knocks. And I am not old. <laughs> no. No. You are to me. Thanks, Aiden. Thanks. <laughs> I can say that now. I've got new complexion. You do. You don't have the red cheeks anymore. No, that's just the camera. I've worked out how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. UK Vape Show Group. UK Vape Show Group. So all the questions that I read out for casters' questions, uh, I put a post in the UK Vape Show Group. You'll see Nightbot spamming it again between the fucking errors that I can't get rid of. And just join that group and post in there. So, I don't know. That's the wrong fucking one. That's for October 15th. My vaping right, I'd save my mum. <laughs> it's save a person from your past who smoked with vaping who'd be wow yeah it'd be my mum but I sort of just started <laughs> just afterwards it's not funny Vic no, yeah, thanks a lot mate no it's it's, it's, it's up the red it's up the red in the Facebook group <laughs> so this one's from Martin Hart when will Ron Campbell be a guest in the show so that you can tell us how much of a bell end of a nephew Pud really is? The thing is, we don't have to have him on the show to work it out, do we? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Ron, are you up for it? I don't know if Ron's even in chat. I did think it was funny when um, when the bitches did their show and they had with the wags, or the wags. And uh, surprisingly, I think Pud got away with it. It was Jay that came off worse, I think. Oh, yeah, it was Jay that came off. He's wanks really, yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay yeah. came off really worse than that one. <sighs> I was expecting a lot worse from stories from, from Fiona. That was that was one of the that was one of the few times that I was glad I'm actually single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it, mate. We got a good laugh. <sighs> oh no. It was funny. <laughs> so there we go, Martin. We might we might get Ronnie Campbell on at some point and drag him on when Pud's here just to make Pud feel uncomfortable so we can laugh at him all the way through the show. Do you think Ronster's got loads of pictures of Pud when he was like a little boy? Oh he's beat bound to <laughs> there's, there's little pud in the paddling pool there's little pud with a mini bottle of buckfast when he was five months old <laughs> there's pud still chewing crayons <laughs> he looks 23 there Ron yeah you're right 
Crayola pod. <laughs> ben Carnell or Carnell? I think it's Carnell. Do you think 18650s will be phased out altogether soon? And how long before they are? I don't think they will. I don't think they'll be phased out, but I'm really liking just at the minute. There's quite a number of 21700 mods coming out, isn't there? Yes. Um, and I think that's the way forward. I know they're a bit more chunky, like, but I think it's the, the way forward. Much well, longer battery life as well. Here's I don't know if ye ye I don't know if you're watching this. Yee-hee. You used to, you used to see this, see this. You need to make a twenty one seven hundred version of this. This, this right here, twenty one seven hundred version of it. Forget the G class; it'd be too big as a twenty one seven hundred mod. Q mini. Make a twenty one seven hundred version if, of if, it. If you think about it, when 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 you made that transition <laughs> from cigarettes to um to vaping one of the biggest things were especially if you went on one of them pen designs with the fact if you go out to the pub and your battery would run out you've got plenty of liquid you, your tank's all right but your battery would run out so you'd have to carry these other ones if you forgot to charge it up then you'd be getting a cigarette off one of your mates and i think that, that extra battery life of 21700 would give you especially in a single i, th I think that helps mm. definitely a split at the minute between like the hobbyist that wants the big dual 21700s and the pod modders with the drag X and the things like that, the one single battery mods, there's, there is a, there is a split. I see oh, a lot especially, of people... especially if they're actually mouth to lung in as well. That yeah. 21700 on a, on a mouth to lung device, it's going to set them up easily for the day. Oh yeah, easily. Probably so, two days. So if they've got a charger at home and they've got two 21700s, they stick one on that one when it's ready, they've constantly got that runner battery, haven't they? Yeah. Cheers, Scoob. I'm going to look at that after caster's questions because that fucking night bot thing's annoying me <laughs> so no we've done that one before oh shane gibson if there was a vintage mod in other words an old mod that you remember fondly uh, that you could bring up to date what mod would it be and why um oh Mikey. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm here somewhere. Oh, um, cool. The Wizbeck. Oh, the Rouleau. Great answer, yeah. Yeah, bring that up today. It's still working, this. It, 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 I've dropped it. It's been dropped all over the place, this. It's full of juice. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. borrow Jay's rag. But yeah, that's what I'll bring up today. Old mod that I would bring up to date. I'd probably say, oddly enough, the Smock X Cube 2. Just because I love that mod. That's going back about the X Cube 2. Fucking hell. It was a great mod, yeah. It was a big, chunky thing. It had the LEDs on it, but it was just one of those mods. I just destroyed it because I was careless. But re release of that would be fun. Martin Lindenberger says the sub box. Les Wardle, um, the <clears throat> Rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old mod that I would bring up today. <laughs> the uh, smock skyhook. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Army man Brad makes a good point about the top side jaw. I wish they'd just do something with the battery door and update that. I think that's, uh, that's still... I mean, that still sells for top money, the top side jaw, isn't it? It's still... Yeah, it does. Okay, the Segeli. The Segeli T100 and the Segeli T150, that was when that was when Segeli were actually known to make good mods. They're all, they were ancient, like the T100 and T150, you're going back to like 2015, 2016 with that, and it was just before temp control came in, it was wattage and voltage only, but they were very clean looking mods. And then fucking Segeli went batshit insane with the stupid designs and then they went bankrupt and came back, went bankrupt again and came back. And now there's three different versions of Segeli. But yeah, the T100 and T T150, they were good this mods. Is, this is just what I was saying as well much about, I hadn't even heard of that. <laughs> yeah. I just Googled it now and I'd look. Yeah, yeah that's a smart looking mod, isn't it? They're, they're old, but they, they were damn good mods when they were first released. Mm. Damn good mods. Shane <laughs> Gibson says, I'd say the Golden Greek, GG. That's high-end stuff, is it, no? Is it? I thought it were a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that. Matt Mannion, what's the one mod you couldn't get but you really want? I really, really want. Yeah. 
I yeah. really, really want. I'll go first. Geppetto Elite V2 Pistachio Edition. Thank you. In the box with the certificate. In the box and... with the certificate and all the fucking paperwork and sealed. Thank you. <laughs> um, I haven't really got one if I'm honest with you. Yeah. I think like, the Vicious Amp Duke 2, clear. That's or I do really more. like the look of the Ultrana Gaia, especially in green. I think that's a cracking little mod. And they're not too pricey either. No, nah, they're not because they're not Starwood. Mm. The Starwood it, it does, ones were it, they were fucking expensive. The Starwood ones. Oh, it does Irish. It does, mate. So every time Nightbot comes up with that uh, alias thing, I think he keep thinking he's saying Aniseed, and then I'm thinking of Sam Booker. <laughs> 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 what, about, what about you, man? Have you have you got to that point yet where you're kind of eyeing up new mods and tanks and stuff? Or um, I'm not even allowed to look for the half with knock my head in. <laughs> <To me totally. laughs> so as I had all, I've got all my juice and everything else, and I, I wanted to get the drag, and she kind of says, "No, you're going to end up like your father. You know, like shit lying everywhere." And so I'm even allowed to look. I'm not allowed. Yeah, you'll end up like me with stuff sitting. And I, I don't even do juice reviews now. I've still got a load of fucking juice sitting around me. <laughs> <laughs> and mods and tanks. That is one and... thing that I really want—a really nice pipe. Yeah, Matt, Matt, you're absolutely right. I do, I do want, but I, I have an idea for one. But I need to think about it. I want to do something fun and silly. The thing but, about e-pipes is they don't—they don't generally sell all that well. I want to be able yeah. to sit here and go bobbity bomb. Check it out at local working men's club. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> Old Albert tried to light end of it. <laughs> that isn't yeah. fucking rotten. <laughs> oh, I put it down. Silly old bugger. <laughs> Proper Gandalf thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't Salford doesn't Salford have a couple of that, those kind of? He does. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. The only th the only thing about poor old Salford when he's actually doing it, it looks like one of them balloons. You know, you get with a little thing on. It's like carrying around his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's got the hat. He's got the hat and everything, isn't he? He pops yeah. in. He has, yeah, Sherlock Holmes. I'm only joking, Salford. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's got his Sherlock Holmes a lot. <laughs> this next one's from Pam Briarty. How you doing, Pam? I think you're in chat. Big Pam. Lovely. Does the battery charger design need to change? I, for one, hope so. How would you guys change it? Interested on your thoughts and favourite ones you use today? I don't know how you could change a battery charger design. Um, I think some of the chargers are pretty clever now how they charge and they can discharge and they can mm -hmm. do all the battery health cycles and stuff like that. I think the whole slide mechanism needs to be rethought. The thing is, how, how would you replace it though? Because you need something to keep the tension against the battery. Well, you get a lot of these now that are like, um, I've only seen like really basic ones, like a USB with two magnetic ends that ping onto each side of the battery. Oh. But if you had something like that in a housing that was, would better it'd be a better contact yeah he didn't so, get one of those there we go no they're headphones aiden <laughs> 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 they're kids headphones yeah like like that but in a in a housing yeah so you haven't got this slider that would that might work yeah because after a couple of years especially if you use chargers as much as me those sliders start to gunge up and just start creaking and fucking oh Ooh. it just ugh. Yeah. I think they should come up with like a mini drinks fridge, you know, like a Pepsi one. So when your battery's finished, you could just slide it in, pop it in, and when you need another one, you select twenty one seven hundred or eighteen six fifty. <laughs> pops out at the bottom. Like a vending machine. Yeah, like a vending that. machine. I would buy that. <laughs> That'd be cool. And you'd have to make that noise as well. Clunk, click, thump. <laughs> <laughs> vending Fucking machine right. battery dispenser. Battery I think. Vendor. I mean. Going back to the whole battery thing, I think we do need some kind of change in battery technology to hit the vape scene. <laughs> That's not going to happen for another five years. The next, the no. next big step in batteries is solid state batteries. How, using... how long? How sorry, sorry, Vic. How long before we get a mod with like a little solar panel on the side? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking solar panel won't do jack shit. There's a little windmill on the top, <laughs> <laughs> so you can blow on it when you're trying to charge the battery up. They could do that. They could fit it at the bottom and have the airflow through it. So when you when you inhale it, <laughs> charge it. 
<laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like trying to get, you know, like when, when you had your phone and you used to try and get reception, trying to send a text message, walking around with it up in air, trying to find it, <laughs> signal. <laughs> Come on, get a bit of charge. It's there, it's there. Oh, I've got to do it again. <laughs> A uh, big shout out to Duga, who's in chat. Thank you so much you um, for your donation, buddy. You're an absolute star. Thank you very much. So, Sorry about that. that was Pam's question. Oh, Craig Gomez Brown. Classic question, this. I think I'll read it again because it's been a while since we've had a question like this. If you could get rid of something from the vape world, what would it be? Well, we know you're going to say pods. <laughs> Pad. Pods. <laughs> Not pod pods. <laughs> Who's going to clean his shoes then? <laughs> yeah, he needs pod. <laughs> um, what would I get rid of? What would I get rid of? Hmm. Yeah, obviously the the drama side of it is is what what everybody would have said that when they the drama does rather piss you off after a while. Mm -hmm. Gaily bops, yep. both if you want. Get rid of all other reviewers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a good one as well. Uh, the um, TPD. Oh, I see. Technically, I see on that. So what? Sorry. What? No, carry on. No, you go fast. No, I was completely changing the subject. All right. Well, technically, the TPD vanishes in January the first, twenty twenty one, when we leave the EU. Green screens. I, I haven't got a link or anything, but Solon was talking <laughs> screen screens. Yeah, Solon on this show was talking about um, someone in chat might put a link up. There's a questionnaire going on from the um, oh the Ethra, Ethra. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It only takes a couple of minutes. It's quite a good little um, questionnaire, actually. Yeah. I guess I guess they're starting to do something for the new TPD or something. Or well, yeah. at that point in time, we'll be out of the T. We'll be out of the EU, so it'll be the Conservative Party and Boris Johnson writing new regulations for electronic cigarettes. Yeah, go on, do it, do it, Black Cam. <laughs> um, if you want to, um, um, um <laughs> e-cigarettes, uh, then um, what, 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 what we're thinking, um, with e-cigarettes is, um, <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, that was not as good as you did it the other day. No, the other day I was, it's because I've got yeah, that a bit was spot on the other day. That had a bit of Kermit the Frog at the back. There. Yeah, I've got a sore throat. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's from all this singing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that actually reminded me of as well? It reminded me of the world in motion. You know that England song by New Order. Oh fuck, that was going way back for the the World yeah. Cup thing. He sounded like that. <sighs> right, we want to go into who next. Um... Well, I can't ask. So, that. you know, Munchkin is actually going to be doing the build tonight. She's going to be doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can't ask your question, Ron, because Pud's here. But I'm going to ask it anyway because it's a funny question. Ronster Campbell, would Pud do the show or a review wearing only a mankini and nipple tassels? He probably would, to be honest. This is. Pud would he be able to get about. big enough nipple tassels to cover him? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> He does it off camera anyway, so I'm sure he's not that bothered. Jules, I'm not. I'm not asking that question, Jules. That's disgusting. No, no. Um, Thanks, know. Jules. Guys, go and do that questionnaire on the um, new nicotine lights. It's, it's it's good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This one's from Leah. What worries you about the world in general? Who makes paper clips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who decided on who decided on the tin to open a, a, a tin of spam? Why do you get that little tool? Why is it not an easy way? Yeah, That's about just you using a tin opener. Fucking tin of spam in that stupid fucking stupid key thing. Thought of that? Yeah. What the fuck is it with that? That's right. You only get that in tins of spam. Yeah. I know lots of people make black bin liners that actually rip. And then you've got to try and get the spam out, but you, it won't come out, so you pull it, and then you've got to spam on your you fingers. You get the and, jelly oh. all over your fingers, and it's disgusting and hell. <laughs> you are better putting it in the fridge first, though. You are, actually. Because then the spam shrinks, and it t takes itself away from the <laughs> side of the tin. Simon Davis, who eats fucking spam? <laughs> spam. <laughs> actually, I do. There's nothing wrong with a bit of fried spam chips and beans. It's rather nice. Spam fritters. <laughs> 
Fried spam, chaps and beans. Very nice. It's the old thing as well. Who was the first person to try an egg and who was the first person to milk a cow? And what were they fucking thinking? Well, exactly. What the <laughs> fuck were they thinking? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be some like old bloke, wouldn't it, getting the wrong end or something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When you come back to drinking, honestly, you're getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Munch? What's wrong with the world in general? I don't know. You just come up with quite silly things. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck those. They're bush right, <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of empathy anymore. I don't think a lot of people think about other people. No, there's a lot of people that are dead of most of ones. I mean, people are all for themselves these days, and I don't. That, that's, that's, that's no way to be. There's no community spirit and things like that anymore. Well, it is. It's there. You, you just got to look at what I'm doing. The, the community spirit is there, but sometimes it gets a little bit diluted. Um, it, it, you've sort of lost that feel of of community. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out for what they can get on their own. Well, yeah. I think at the, at the minute, as well, everyone's just petrified. Yeah. You know. And in some cases, I mean, obviously there's a reason to be for people to be worried, but sometimes it's unnecessary. You know, it's like too much. You see it in people's faces, just walking around. People are scared of each other. It's just, it's scary to think we're getting to this point. To be honest, people like that, people like that maybe way before fucking COVID nineteen. Anyway, I don't know. Can I think I people, are people are a lot more nastier. I'm not really seeing that. Yeah, you get like. We're we're in the middle of like a snowflake generation plus COVID. It's like a, a, it's like a nasty cocktail. Yeah, everybody's offended by everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, for me, my big worry is world population. That's mine. That's what gets me thinking at night. Here's a little <laughs> statistic for you. Here's a little statistic for you. Right. Darwinists, Charles Darwin theorists and theory of evolutionists, which I am, uh, reckon that the humans as we know as today first popped up in the earth around about 250,000 years ago. We were scrambling around in caves and shit and going, ugh, ugh, or something like that. I don't fucking know what we're doing. Doing that in Scotland, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Are all the joking, Zan? <laughs> <laughs> so, it took roughly... 250,000 years for the human population to hit 1 billion. The first billion was recorded in 1850, right? So 250,000 years to reach the first billion. The next billion took 100 years, 90, 1850 to 1950, the world population hit 2 billion. Now, 1950 wasn't all that fucking long ago. What's the world population now? Over 7 billion, yeah. It just hit eight billion last year, so it's not it's not an exponential rise. It's a linear it's a linear rise going straight up, and if this keeps going, we're going to run out of food, fresh water, and we're all going to start a war for fresh water, and then it's doom and gloom, apocalypse now, and we're all going we're all going to die. That's so basically, we're going to turn into Mad Max. Yeah, <laughs> except without the nukes going off. The thing is, you can just imagine now, Vic in bed, and all of a sudden you hear in this. That's another one. That's another one. That's another one. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the air out. The car stop. That's another one. <laughs> we won't be here when that happens. Hopefully, ah, uh, we'll be long dead and gone. Long dead and gone. But they're reckoning the world population will hit ten million in about twenty twenty five years. Ten, not ten million. Ten billion in the next ten to twenty to twenty five years. And that's that's a lot of people. You know, Alan you... David says, "Fuck me, Vic. I put the show on to be cheered up." <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> you know, do you know? I think that this is a bit of my kind of conspiracy theorist side coming out a little bit, but I think we're heading. It might not even be in our generation, but I think we're heading to some kind of shift because the whole financial, the way the way money governs the world. You mean the fiat, You mean the collapse of the fiat currency system? That whole yeah, that kind yeah. of yeah, yeah. Not We've got really to have some kind of shift. It's not really a conspiracy. It, it, it could actually happen. <laughs> Be it rule the world, Aiden. Because here's the thing. Money. You look at money. On the British pound, it says, promise to pay the bearer on demand. And the whole idea about the paper money was a pound was equal to a pound of gold. Now, you take that pound note 
and you try and go to the Bank of England and ask for a pound of gold in return for your pound note, they're going to fucking slap you and chuck you out. Because it used to be the case that the British currency was tied to a weight of gold. Mm. Now, there's nothing backing up the currency. So what Gaz was saying could actually happen. It could happen. Well, they used to, like the pennies, they used to take little bits off them, didn't they? That's why they put the edges are actually yeah. around the, yeah. the currency, because people used to clip them off and shave them. Because it used to be silver. A lot of yeah. the coins were made of, yeah, silver. We'll be living on Mars within 50 years, says Philip. <laughs> well, if Elon Musk has got anything to do with it, yeah, we will. He's cracking on with them satellites and them, these, these rockets, isn't he? I think he's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Well, his dad, his dad used to be into all that alien stuff, didn't he? I still am. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rockets going up all the time and the new satellites and uh, unbelievable. He's got see all the fucking satellites he's been launching recently. Was it Sky something or other? SpaceX. Oh, was the Skynet program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Wi-Fi for the world. Yes. Yeah, Skynet, the one off of Terminator. Yep. A bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Think about it, it's going to be Mad Max down here and then it's going to be Total Recall up there. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Creed. <laughs> Bugsy and the woman with the three boobies. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be one happy day, that, isn't it? Oh, God. You worry if you've got three hands. <laughs> yeah, be like, no, <laughs> like playing a xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, this lady's present. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but no, it's going to be a bit of a struggle ironing a bra, though. I ain't got three heads. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to go for the middle one first. <laughs> okay, back to Caster's questions before Aiden digs that hole even deeper. Where are we going here? <laughs> I've got a slingshot to get out. <laughs> Ged Hall, everyone's fed up of podcasts and AIOs, apps are fucking lootly, but they're a brilliant way into vaping. Yeah, kind of true. Could they be improved or made or made more interesting to experienced vapors? How would you make a podcast more interesting? The word should be like have like multi use, you know. But it's a podcast. How long before we got little flat screen tellies on these things? That's already <laughs> happened. Well, they were already that one at Expo, weren't they, with the phone? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't know I'm doing that, that, that one into that. phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, what can I do with a pod? I mean, AI, AIOs, you've got more leeway to make them more interesting, rebuildable heads, different tanks, but you can't really do much with a pod. <clears throat> yeah, there's not very much more you can do, is there? It's more like the battery life on them. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm sorry. I'm I'm surprised we haven't seen more with the actual heating element. We've seen ceramic. We've seen these Z coils from relics and hexa. We've seen all sorts of different things, but there's other ways, I think. Yeah, the S coils from Philom Tech, which were really good. I like the Philom Tech pods. Nice mm. flavor for those things. Very yeah. nice flavor. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't really make them more interesting. I mean, when you get to something like this, then you've got more room to play around with, but mm. with a pod and AIO, you run out of space. Mm. I know people are <laughs> all hating on pods, but like like it's just been said, the major thing is getting them off them stinkies. Yeah, it does If it's working, people. that's the whole point of it. thing is, they still haven't really marked... If you look at like a, <clears throat> if you look at like an AI, AIO, like... The, the manic auto manic or any of them there's always something they miss out if they've got adjustable airflow they they haven't got a usb type c or they've got a crap display or they're always you know or they leak there's always something with all of them there's never one that's got ticks every box well there's a reason like, for that mm. because if they make the first one perfect they can't make a version two yeah that's why yeah, nonsense <sighs> yeah They've got to leave something out so it gives them an excuse to make a V2 in four or five months' time. Smock with the masters at doing that. They always left something out from their mods so they come out with a version two later on. They were masters you, at If you it. look at it, it's like now, if you look at washing machines from the 50s and the 60s, there's still some that are knocking around that are still working now. You, you try and find a washing machine from the late 80s now, it's not working. My gran had a Bendix twin tub that dated from 1968, and that thing was running all the way up to the 90s. 
fucking thing was a tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make things obviously so that the, the burnout they don't work, and you're gonna buy another one. Because yep. if you make something that's indestructible, then you're never gonna buy another one, are you? What about so, what about with these pod mods? If they had a retractable cable within them, so when you got to charge it, you just that would take up a lot of room, so you'd lose battery life. Though you need to make the you need to make the body work longer. Bit of a big chunky device. I don't know. I'm why, just or why don't you just get it so that the USB just pulls out and you just plug plug it into the oh yeah. the actual thing the actual yeah, the USB just, part the lead just kind of comes quiet. out a bit yeah. Just, yeah just pull a bit out at the bottom and then just push it in that would work because all you'd be adding is a couple of centimeters to the length of the mod that would actually work mm -hmm. ooh the only so trouble you got is it, how long it'll last but yeah there's always things people can do just oh yeah there is. There's always something folks can do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Church. Planned obsolescence. That's what it is. Fucking planned obsolescence. The printer well, companies are good at that. <laughs> <laughs> the printer well, companies are I thought, is he that. calling me obese? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a question for Munchkin. Because that's the last mm. of the caster's questions. There's nobody building this. There's nobody building so we need to pad out the next 15 minutes before the giveaway. Here's the question for Munchkin. What would happen if you overtook your dad and subscribers? I, I don't know. I think he'd be awfully proud of me, though, which is always a good thing. He's always ready for me to go, so... Well, so th there, wouldn't be, th there wouldn't be a little man in the back of skints. He'd go and, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> If there was, he would have told me about it. <laughs> anyway, no, he's he's really supportive. He's he's really great. So, he's really is, is a nice guy. I've had a good giggle. And he likes a good beer as well. The show that they do on a Friday is brilliant, isn't it? Good show yeah, they have on a Friday. Brilliant. Yeah, great show. Yeah, really good. Vapor on. He's on five hundred and one. And what are you on, Munchkin? Oh, hundred and something. You were on one hundred and sixteen before he came on. You are now on a hundred and forty-two. Woohoo! Come you. on, people! I'm sure we can get her up over that 200. Oh yeah, <laughs> only get them up over 200. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The faster get... you overtake your dad, the better. <laughs> 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 no, I'm lying. I'm, I'm joking. I got a lot of love for your for your dad. He's he's brilliant. He's really yeah, good. He's and he's man. another one who's come around and he's done things his way. And mm -hmm. he's you know he's just done what he wanted to do. And he's he's done things that are different and not boring. And his show is different as well. So. Um, yeah, he's that's it. I think you need, if, especially because there is so many reviewers, you do need to try and do things differently because you keep doing the same spiel all the time, and people are going to get bored eventually, really, aren't they? So you need yeah. to do something different. Do you feel like do you feel like you found your kind of style yet, or do you feel like you you're still kind of warming up to it? And um, I think actually with the review that I did with um the Vupu drag um quite a few people liked how i done that because i've done it over a few days worth it wasn't just me rattling out in just one day it was, i done it over a few days so i think if i was going to do like hardware reviews and that's probably the way that i would do it because it is giving more of an honest review so then if you something crops up day two day three a week down the line then you'd be like right okay so i've got this issue with it and maybe yeah. do something else I mean, and people be more aware instead of doing a separate video or forgetting about it or that's why I, that, that's why when it comes to hardware i have nothing against by the way red i've seen your question i'll read that out one if, if i remember in fact i've got it there so i won't forget but i have nothing against reviewers who do unboxing reviews they actually they literally take the thing out of the box and then review it then and there jay hayes does it jay hayes admits he does it but people go to Jay's for a quick review, but I would rather sit there with the device for a, for four or five days, test the device out to make sure that it doesn't leak, make sure the battery doesn't blow up and turn into a pipe bomb. And that's the way I run things as well. It's it's good, even for juice reviews, it's good to sit there and get used to the taste for a while before you hit record, because you may pick up something at the back notes of that e-liquid after two or three days of vaping it that you didn't pick up in the first 24 hours. I didn't do my juice use like that at all. You did? <laughs> I'm like, ah, duh, 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 duh. yeah, it tastes like this. 
Just like if you went into a vape shop and they let you test it. That's that was that's my idea of it. No, you're absolutely right though. True. Right, I've well, got a quick, I've got a quick question from Red. Red Claw Inshan, who sent me a very nice pair of German wire clippy snippery things from Germany because Nipex. that's where he's from. And when you do that, the wire doesn't go pew. It just it, it, because there's a clasp thing on the snippy bit. You know, the, the snippy bits that go like that, and there's a little oh, clasp geez. thing that but, hangs there, and it grabs onto the wire just as you cut it. It's fucking phenomenal. Are they, um, are they Nipex? No. Are they? Oh, yeah, they are. They're Nipex. The way so, you explained it then, welcome to uh, Tech with Vic. Yeah. <laughs> snippy thing. Um, snippy things and the thing in the box, the claspy thing, and. So. <laughs> Red Claw asks, question for Vic, if you had a chance to walk into a real TARDIS, but you'd have to give up vaping for the rest of your life, would you go? Now, I'm going to caveat that. If I'm only walking in once to visit it, no, I wouldn't give up vaping. If I'm walking in to steal it and claim it as mine, yes, I would give up vaping. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll take a TARDIS where I can travel anywhere in time and space. Yes. I've never watched a season of Doctor Who. Oh, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be bothered. What? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, miss much. <laughs> and it's just not, the other half watches it, and I sit there and I'm like, "What the fuck is this shite that's on this telly?" Blasphemy! <laughs> Fucking blasphemy! Uh, if you said to me, could it, if I walked into Red Dwarf and I had to give it up, then yeah, I probably would do. Oh yeah, Red Dwarf, that would be fun. Oh, Red, I love a bit of Red Dwarf. Oh, definitely. I yeah, just going back to what you said about with juice when I did when I used to just do juice reviews, I used to like try it for a few days to get them notes. But when you've obviously got a queue and you're trying to get through stuff, sort of juice reviews do take a little bit of a, a back burner on things. So you do you get them all ready, you do it, you test a bit before it, so you're getting the notes and then do your review. Hardware, you've got to at least test it for, for a week at least. So you know, like you said, so you know whether it's breaking or if there's any problems with it. Before this sort of like rush of getting reviews out came, everybody sort of looked, or everybody took about two weeks, didn't they? They mm. did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. But yeah, you have to kind of get it off. You have to, yeah, you have to make your own mind up because there are people that will get get it and then the next day the reviews out. There's nothing wrong with that. They want to, you know, they want to show people what it is and how it works. But yeah. I, I've been through it. I've been through it where I think, oh, damn it, someone, so and so's bought this review out and I. I haven't done mine yet. And then after a while, you just think, you know, people, people who want to watch my review will watch it when it's out. And that's, that's mm -hmm. good enough for me. The one thing that I've noticed about people that, and I, I get it in comments all the time. I am usually, I'm usually one of the last reviewers to put out a review of something that's just out. Cause again, even for a fast track, I still say if they're going to pay me for a fast track, I still say to them, look, you're not going to get this review out tomorrow. You're not going to get it out in 48 hours. You're going to get it out in a week because I still need four or five days to test. So even, even the fast tracks are slow, but I've seen people in my comments going, they do watch reviewers who they know have just unboxed it like Jay Hayes, but they watch the table cam part to see what the item looks like, and then they stop watching the rest of the video. Then they come to me, skip the table cam, and go st go straight to the babbly bit at the end to see what I thought. So they still watch the view. They still watch the review. Yeah. Well, the thing with like Jay is he's he makes it stark obvious, especially when he's like opening the box and go, "Yep, this is a single 1860." Oh no, it's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> he's just blatantly obvious about it. But you do get some people to try and. Pretend they know what they're talking about, but hey, it's, it is what it is. You also, you watch JAs as well for the entertainment. Oh, you do, that. you do to see if he, to see if he bashes it up, he gets the fucking hammer out and starts hammering shit. <laughs> That's what you watch it for. <laughs> How many bills did you do in the Requiem RDA? Four. Yeah, it's funny with RDAs, isn't it? You can sometimes you get some you build first time, sweet. And it's fine. Others, you, they do just take a lot more time. And you think for something so effectively, like these decks are so simple, you think you'll be fine with it after one or two. But some of them just take, you need more time. Some what's of them you, you do. Somebody were asking earlier, what, what, what's your thoughts on uh, vertical coils? The two, they, uh, they've worked. I find they work really well in little mouth-to-lung RTAs, if you get them right. 
they're a bit fiddly to do, but if you get them right and you've got that bottom airflow right up the middle, they work really well. But... Bottom airflow drippers are a fu- well, not bottom airflow vertical drippers are a fucking nightmare. Yeah, they're a, especially dual coil vertical drippers. They're a constant fucking nightmare to get the coils lined up right. Normally, if if I'm gonna go for a if, if I'm gonna go for a vertical coil, anything it's got to be single vertical coil because I don't want to sit there for two fucking hours fucking around with two vertical coils. When you get one coil right, the second one fuck fucks up, and then vice fucking versa. Although the, that's true though, Les, the 502, which I've still got up there, Jay Hayes' one, the 502 was one of the easiest dripper, vertical coil drippers to actually build on because of the way the thing was designed. But there's been some vertical coil RDAs like the uh, the Marquee. That was a fucking nightmare when that thing was released in 2015. Oh, what? Two hours it took me to fucking install coils in that bastard. That doesn't really mean much, that does it really? <laughs> <laughs> he did take 25 minutes to do a, a postless deck at the first show yeah, yeah, yeah. But i was i was taking my time with that to explain to people the history of the the, the history of the tank i was working on that, that wasn't the fact that he wouldn't actually fire on the mod that you got it on now <laughs> he, he was nervous bless him. Him, wasn't you? you were just showing <laughs> he was nervous, bless him. It was his first show. You know, he was new to this, remember? <laughs> Shred- he was trying, to, trying to settle us in. <laughs> Shreds McFresh says, do you find a, a difference between round wire and more complex coils in mouth-to-lung setups? Are some tanks RDAs better than others for round slash complex, complex builds? The whole point, right? This is the uh, Watofo Cog, and I've got one of Proper Coils, one of the show sponsors. Thanks, Mr. Proper Coils. I've got one of Proper Coils, mouth to lung, fuse Clapton's in here. The point of, there we go, there's Aiden up with the Proper Coils puck, because I can't find mine, because they're behind that monitor, and I'm too lazy to go and get one. Um, <laughs> the whole point of complex coils is you're presenting a larger surface area of wire. So you get something like an alien or a fuse clapton, especially a fuse clapton. It's two strands of, well, depending on how you make the fuse, it's two inner cores with more wire wrapped around the inner core. So that's a shitload of that's a shitload of exposed surface area of wire compared to one single round wire build. If a tank, like a mouth to lung tank, if a tank can take a low density complex coil, like a low density relatively high ohmed mouth to lung clapton or mouth to lung fuse clapton if the deck is big enough to take it i would always suggest going for a low density complex coil first for your mouth to lung vape because generally speaking you will get better flavor generally speaking you will get better flavor i think it's horses for courses isn't it like you get one of them little rba coils and it's just a simple round wire is all you can fit in them anyway you know, and then like, I find the cog, the mouth to lung claptons and pop cores are great. But then you get something like the um, the true tank. You put mm. one of the mouth to lung aliens in that. They're bigger coils and it, it absolutely cracking. So yeah. it really depends, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, that was the reason that that was the reason that these. Um... Oh yes, yeah, ain't he? Um, yeah, Saint Stuart Stuart got a spanner because Stuart said he's not important enough to have a spanner in this channel. I went, oh fuck you then, Stuart spanner. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a great job as well. He is. He's good with the links. <laughs> you is one of the best. <laughs> yeah, he does your show, doesn't he, on a Saturday? Yeah, he's he's our resident spanner. He's absolutely cracking. Martin Hart, there's no giveaway. To... Oh, fuck, there is. Fuck. Fuck. There is. There is a giveaway. There is a giveaway. There is a giveaway. Fuck. Still got five minutes to go, but we'll get the giveaway ready. We're going to give away Pud's channel because he can't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's watching actually, because he's in. He said, "I said he didn't got very good signal." Yeah, he said yes. his internet signal wasn't all that good, which is why you shouldn't stay in a caravan. Well, no, you should just put his head next to the caravan. It'd be like a signal booster. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, Mr. Caravan. Wellow, how are you doing, Wellow? I haven't seen you in here for a while. Hold on, my batteries have ran flat. Fuck. Happens all the fucking time in a minute. There is show. nothing wrong with caravan in all of it. I, I do them sun holidays all the time. 40 quid for a week. Actually, yeah, and then not then, bad. And then 40 then, quid for a week? Yeah, and then you've got to spend 147 <laughs> quid on towels. No, the thing is, if you, get, if you don't go to Haven and you actually go to, like, Blue Wanker and things like that, 
They put all the bedding and all the towels in anyway, but I take my own towel anyway. Yeah. Don't, don't use other tech people. I know it's tech a sleeping bag. COVID towels. Co yeah. <laughs> Ooh, COVID Vic towels. is the Clarkson of vaping with his feeling of caravans. Well, you know, more power in the world. That was a shit Clarkson impersonation, but there we go. Was that supposed to be Clarkson? Yeah, that was, was supposed, that supposed to be Clarkson, Clarkson not was... Clapton. <laughs> Bob <laughs> Dog, just, no, you've already told me off for my vocals. You've retired. All right. I tell you what, that was absolutely fantastic. You haven't seen Flat Cap's um, Axon Chip song. Make sure you go and check it out. Go and it, check it, it out. Really that's good. a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I just um, I wanted. To... It's funny, it's funny, right? And Munch, you'll, you'll get this. Uh, Aiden and Vic probably be different because they've been this a lot longer. When you get requests from like manufacturers and vendors, it's it's hard. It is hard to say no because you want to impress them, you want to get stuff from them. So you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Vaporso kept asking me to talk about their Axon chip. And I was just like, oh, what am I meant to say? Oh, it's a chip. It does this, it does that. <laughs> so I made a bit of a mockery. But actually, look, this is actually not. It's kind of backfired, but it kind of hasn't because they really like it and they yeah. want to use it. <laughs> they want to use it for something. <laughs> <laughs> something. That'll be ace. I'll be walking around the next expo and you'll just be hearing it. He's going to be on the screen. <laughs> just... uh, That's like that like, time when we went to expo and I went to a, a, a stand and we were talking to this this lovely lady and she was saying, uh, you know Jay? I said, Jay? Yeah, best vape reviewer in UK, Jay. I went, oh, I'm thinking, Jay, who is it? It was Jay live vape and chill. It were <laughs> to show, I showed him a picture. I'm on the, I'm going to show him. That's not Jay too fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. What? She did. I said, I'm on a show with Jay. I said, I'll do subs with him. That's not Jay. That's not Mr. Jay. You too fat. <laughs> you too fat. Oh, fuck. So I went to got Jay. I went, look, here's your right. <laughs> it's Mr. Jay. Right, let's get Nightbot set up. So you don't have to pick any numbers, so that's pretty good. Because we've only got two items left. Because Geek Vape were a little bit late in sending out the sponsor package this time round. It's not like them to be late. But again, they're just coming back from some weird autumn festival holiday thing, so that's probably why. They didn't come back until the 8th or, or yeah, something, it was were it? 8th or 9th or something, I think it was. Yeah, yeah 8th or 9th. Giveaways keyword. I'll tell you what, you know when you came on our show on, on Three Men and a Vape show, um I, I put something about munchkin in the title of it. Um YouTube come back and said we've now got to age restrict this because it's got munchkin. What? What? Yeah. I I think I put something like follow the munchkin trail or something like that. <laughs> because it got munchkin in it. Oh, they said to me that they've got to age restrict it now. That's weird. Oh. Which is it's already made big. for people um, not made for children. Yeah, true. Okay, <laughs> so up for grabs today, folks, we have got Aegis Pod and a lovely fetching aqua greeny, yeah, aqua greeny bluey colour. And we've also got the Geek Vape Aegis Boost in almighty blue. Almighty blue. Almighty blue. Not normal blue, almighty blue. Yeah, that's the last two items we've got, folks. So that's what's up for grabs. And, of course, proper coils. Can't forget about proper coils. Hold on. Proper coils. Every week. Every week. Well, to be honest with you, he's done really well. He didn't go under the desk, did he? Can you make, like, an intermission bumper while you scramble <laughs> under the desk? Proper coils. <laughs> every week that's because you know how prepared i am for these shows <laughs> so we have got a set of rba fuse claptons they're smaller ones though so they're good for tanks from our other sponsors uh, sponsors sponsors seriously from our other sponsors proper coils so the keyword for today in order to enter this giveaway is going to be that word there. Type it once, once only, more than once, and you will be automatically disqualified from Nightbot for spamming. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, Nightbot doesn't like the spam tins either. Yeah. No. 
You know, I'm also while you're there, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also make sure you get over to Munchkin and subscribe if you haven't already done it. Yeah, what's Munchkin? Thank you. Oh, 167. Come on, we've got to get 200. Yeah, we've got to get Munchkin up to 200. 200. That's what we need to do. Yeah. No, thanks, guys. Yeah. And 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 as always, folks, make sure you go and watch watch Munchkin, watch the reviews. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm ice cream. <laughs> Sounds you, you did a bit of um, Boris there in make sure you go and watch go, and, go and subscribe. Go and subscribe. <laughs> I sound like a radio two. Gives you radio two. <laughs> yeah. Here's some jazz. <laughs> oh, the Bloodhound gang. <laughs> Mammals. Good work. <laughs> Go to work, stay at home. Stay at home. Play with the missus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Aiden, there's a question for you in chat. What mech devices do you regularly use? Um, well, just the lately. <laughs> um, I have actually got one coming uh, from... Uh, what was it coming from? Helvet. Helvet. I'm getting the same so one. I've got one. I think the last one that I, I really used was, um, <laughs> what was it called? The, what's that one that lights up? The Fush. The Fush. I've got one up there somewhere, yeah. yeah. I mean, mechanical mod. Yeah, yeah, it was a protected I... mechanical. Yeah. Then I I had, Mark, Mark gave me um, a copper tube once. <laughs> That's a big description because they're all copper <laughs> tubes. <laughs> it's that one with the Eiffel Tower on it. No, that oh, was to sort rig. your... Yeah, give me a rig. Yeah. That was to sort your taps out, mate. That was just copper pipe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this. It was funny, like, drip tip on it because it had, like, a pipe. <laughs> I had, like, a valve as well. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a, a tap to fill me juice up with. I... <laughs> <laughs> the Hog yeah. XL is nice. You're actually right, Robert. And if you can't afford the Hog XL, you've also got the cheaper alternative of the uh, Steam Crave Titan 1.5, but it's only 18650 It's not 21700 Good taste of sealant. <laughs> <laughs> taste of sealant. I keep, I keep resisting the urge to go down the mech line. Uh, Matty NG Vapes is getting really heavy into his mechs. And he keeps sending us pictures of him and I'm like, oh, stop it. Even after six years, I don't, I don't trust myself with a mech. Even a single battery tube, I still don't trust myself after six. I don't years. think I would, but what to try a mech either? That'd be mm. too chauffeur to think. Yeah, it's um, they're not for everyone, but that's probably a good thing because if it were for everyone, then we would have all sorts of problems, wouldn't we? True. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mostly, if I'm on a mech, it's either the clutch. Yeah. Or, or I've had this for like since I started reviewing. The baton. Oh, that's that. Coil thing. Coil up. Coil up one, yep. Yeah. Also looks like a saber, doesn't it? Like it should be a Star Wars. It's I've budget. Got... It's only like 50 quid. 50 quid stacked mech. Jewel 21700 is a bargain. It was well made as well, that. Well I'm about made to read this question price. out just for the actual name. FGC Wet Lettuce. <laughs> Thinking of doing... <laughs> I just had to do it. Thinking of doing YouTube videos, but not no reviews of products, but just reviews of my homemade juices. Any ideas how to start it up tidy, guys and girls? You can't review your own liquid. No, well, is it, are they talking about reviewing it or just talking about the mix and maybe just how to mix it? All right, if they're, if you if if you're doing the mix, well, that's easy enough. What there's two things that you need. Number one's a good camera. I highly recommend the Logitech C920. If you can't afford the C920 because they're fucking short stock right now, you can thank prime day for that because the fucking stock just vanished if you can't afford a c920 get the 520 because that's 720p but still is clear and the most important part a good microphone do not for the love of god don't use the microphone built into the webcam because they're fucking awful they're awful i think it'd be quite good to see a, a like a proper diy liquid channel that just looks at Different mixing and tries different things, and especially if you call it wet lettuces juices. <laughs> Absolutely. Instead <laughs> 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 yeah. of yo yo yo, you can go. <laughs> 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 Make sure you have lettuce everywhere. 
lettuce based build mat. <laughs> Let lettuce eat liquid channel. <laughs> yeah. I don't use cotton, I use lettuce for wicking. <laughs> yeah. With tea tree fiber. <laughs> yeah. If I don't have any lettuce, I use a carrot stick. <laughs> yeah. uh, the wetter the lettuce, the better. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about this, Munchkin. We're not, we're not normally this bad. Yeah, we are. And your shit is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it bother me any? I am definitely going to be the first subscriber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just for, yeah, like Full Moon, like Full Moon does, yeah. Yeah, just like Full Moon. I think those kind of channels are, are good. What? Good. Oh, Full Moon does it, yeah. Full Moon does it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah, right, it. yep, yep, forgot about that. 188, 180 subscribers, right, pop this li link in chat. <laughs> I'm doing a Vic now. Yeah, just spam it, just spam it, they'll get spam the point. It. Come on, let's get it to 200. 200. If we don't get Munchkin to 200, we're not doing the draw. Simple as that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm holding you all a ransom. I'll tell you another good thing, though, about me not drinking, because normally at this point I'm thinking, oh, don't fucking say that, because I need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all right. Uh, I'll tell you as well, big shout out to Graham, Net Reality. Um, he's been, all the way through me, uh, Sober October, he's been sending me juices out. Oh. The dog did eat that one, but I, I did decant it. There's no nicotine in it. Kendall Mint Cake, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Kendall Mint. Palm of Violated. <laughs> <laughs> that is really, really nice. And I haven't tried this one yet. I have got McDonald's Apple Pie. Ooh. Oh, that's got to be good. McDonald's Apple Pie. Yeah, it's either that or he's peed in the bottle. <laughs> well, there's there's an apple pie that the guys talk about on their mixing show where it's like two ingredients. It's just like apple and pastry or something really really simple and they, they reckon it's, they say it's absolutely cracking so easy peasy cheers £4.99 Matt Hardy camera make fun for Munchkin hope you're right Matt sending love buddy I don't know so much Munchkin's Munchkin's mic is fine the camera's a little bit fuzzy though uh, well I'm just I, I work with NHS what can you expect oh <laughs> NHS pay yeah yeah 196 197 <laughs> It's yeah, that one. It's the apple pie. Only, let's say, a four percent apple pie and one percent apple filler. Five percent concentrate. That's, What's that's the average good. percentage? You, you know, like if you got two flavors, are you, are you aiming for roughly around about twelve percent of them both? Well, when I'm doing, when I, well, if I'm doing a two flavor juice, which is usually something with watermelon, it depends on the flavoring you're using. If you're using Inawera, don't go above three percent because Inawera flavorings are generally strong. If you're using Capella don't go above five percent if you're using the flavor apprentice you're aiming for round about nine to ten percent because flavor apprentice have got a nasty fucking tendency of watering their concentrates down because they're fucking misers how about with um like you get these bottle shots where they come they usually come with 20 percent flavoring yeah. do you think they have their concentrate and then they might add some pg to that to make it the 20 percent yeah they've got a little bit they've, they've bound to have a little bit of pg in there because if it depends on who the bottle shop maker is if it's dark star they usually go for 15 to 20 percent flavoring percentage in the empty bottle but they, they they're bound to put a little just a little bit of pg in there just to bulk it up a little because if you're having to use anywhere between 20 to 20 to 30 then some juice manufacturers do actually put in 30 percent flavoring in their mixes but they're really fucking strong if you're having to go that far and go into the 20 to 30 percent flavoring in a bottle of e-liquid then they must be using either tfa or capella base because if, if there was any kind of inawera in there it wouldn't be anywhere fucking near the 20 percent mark wouldn't be anywhere near it she's go. much good you're at 201 i think yes Yay. thank you thanks everyone great job and remember, don't unsubscribe. Keep watching her. She's a new reviewer that's just started. You've got to support the new reviewers. It's the, new, it's, it's the new reviewers that keep us old dinosaurs like me on our tiptoes. <laughs> I mean, just think, if it wasn't for Gaz, who's, who's, where is Gaz on the screen? If it wasn't for Gaz down there, you wouldn't be seeing me overhaul my entire review system with pointy shit and stuff. 
Because the first time I looked at Gaz's <laughs> reviews, I was sitting there going, "That what the fuck? What's with the fucking graphics and the pointy bits? How do I do that and how do I copy it? I'm going to get Gaz. messages now. People going, oh, you made Vic change his review style and I like the old style. <laughs> change your review style. Don't change your review style. <laughs> Don't use pointy review. bits. Don't use pointy bits. <laughs> there you go. Brad's already started. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Let's run the giveaway. Oh fuck! It's almost half past. Two hundred and three. Woohoo! So the the winner of this draw is going to get a lovely aqua blue. Uh, what the fuck does that say? Okay, what? Tama wet. Tamagotchi. That right there. Tama mushy. Is that well, the name of the, on it. Is that the name of the colour? Oh, it's an aqua marine blue green thing, and you've got a lovely, uh, you've got a lovely um, almighty blue uh, Aegis boost kit, and that's going to a lucky winner, mm -hmm. along with a little, a little pot of proper coils, and the winner is roll it, <laughs> somebody new twenty midnight ten. Sounds like a discount code. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, midnight. <laughs> so, yeah, but what, 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 what's the discount code? On? Sounds like a discount code. So, 20, <laughs> 20 midnight, 10, do you want it? <laughs> Can't say that, Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have come out if I'd have had a beer. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, he wants it. Oh, I'm saying it. he, it might not be. Oh, there we go. Right, 20 midnight, 10. What you need to do is very simple. You need to... Here we go, me typing the fucking email address. Vector... I should have went for a shorter fucking URL from my website. You need to type... No, you don't need to type. You need to send an email to vector at vapingwithvic.co.uk with your name your postal address and your zip code and I'll have this lot sent out to you sometime within the next three weeks, roughly speaking, because I've still got to send out the big box away stuff for the October giveaways. And there we go. We're clean out of, we're clean out of Geek Vape stuff until that sponsor package arrives. Hopefully it arrives before next week. Yeah, next mm. week we we got these people coming on to build. Right. Yes, Aiden. Yes, <laughs> we'll Aiden. do it. <laughs> we, we will be doing it. So here's what's going to happen, folks. Right, for the people that missed last week's show, the build section that the hosts usually do is now being scrapped because we're all bored of it now. So what instead? Instead, what we're going to be doing is there will be a post in the UK Vape Show group that will be there I'll, I'll probably pop up sometime on saturday morning maybe even friday afternoon saying if you're interested in popping into the show for half an hour to pop into the show and do a build leave your name in the post and we'll pick someone at random we'll drag you into a call to make sure of two things one you've got a camera that works two you've got a microphone that works and the idea is the random person that we pick every thursday We'll drag them in at round about 10 o'clock in the evening. Should we make it 10 o'clock? Yeah. We'll drag them in at round about 10 o'clock in the evening. You will have your camera all set up, ready to build. There's several rules. Number one, you have to build on a reasonably priced dual coil RTA. Now, when I say reasonably priced, something on the mainstream. Don't build on something very expensive that nobody can afford. You can also build on an old reasonably priced tank that's no longer for sale number two you will be timed which means pud or one of us guys will make a note of what time you manage to build your reasonably priced tank at and number three yes you can be a reviewer we're leaving it open so if you want to be a reviewer and take part in this it's entirely up to you and the idea is we're going to have everyone's name and times listed on a wall it's a bit like the top gear lap thing that jeremy clarkson did before the before he was sat in the all left and top gear turned to shit. So it's going to be the wall of fame thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick the top two names before the Christmas episode to get them in to build head to head. And the winner wins a Kadama. There you go. Kadama Jamalem. That's the rundown. 
You said it all. Have you got to think of a cool name? That's the thing. We haven't, think, we haven't thought of a cool name yet. Let me think of a cool name. Hmm. Yeah. We're not using Irish ones. Win Vicks Wood. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kodama Jama. The Kodama Jama. No, no army ban, no army man, not a cadaver, a kodama. Cadaver? A dead body? No. Ugh. Imagine no. trying to post that. He's got enough trying to get his big box away as it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dead body through the mail. Don't worry about the smell. <laughs> yeah. So look out in the, not the Vaping with Vic group, the UK Vape Show group of which Nightbot's been spamming links for. I will be putting a post up sometime on the group tomorrow just saying if you're interested in having your name picked randomly to appear in one of these shows, put your name in. But we will ask, you need to have two things. A good camera and a good microphone because we want to hear you curse and swear when you fuck things up. <laughs> Please get over to the Urban LBV channel as well, where my vlogs are for the uh, Go Sober. That's a link for that. And also, this is for the Go so um, Sober October page. There we go. Before we end, I forgot to do that last week. There we go. And there we go. And Pud will be back next week, hopefully. Hopefully. He, By the he, way, there will, uh, there will not be a UK Vape Show Halloween special. Because we are going to be on the Bitches Halloween special the next day. So if you want to see what we were going to dress up as, you'll need to watch the Bitches show next Friday. So there won't be a Halloween show next 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 Thursday. We will, however, have a Christmas show. That's 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 a definite. We're going to have a Christmas show. Going to have a Christmas show. Don't quite know when though. Hold on. Let's have a look at the calendar. Probably around Christmas, I think. <laughs> oh, now here's the thing. The last Thursday, oh, there's, there's a Thursday that sits in the 24th, Christmas Eve. Is that yeah. too close? Well, it's not like I'm going to be at fucking work, is it? Actually, that's true. We're all in fucking lockdown and pish. So we'll make that the Christmas show then, the 24th, Christmas Eve. Obviously, you've got young children, Flat Cat. Mine are all will be running around still at that time. I don't know about what you're... Ah, well, yeah, and plus, here's the thing. There's no guarantee mm. I might not have cousins coming up. Tell you what, we'll make the Christmas show the 17th. There we go. Yeah, that'd be better for me, to be honest. <laughs> See, mine's all right. Mine, mine are older now, so they're all running around, but I just know what it's like when, when they're a younger age and like that. And it's... They're like, ooh, Santa! Yeah. 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 I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be half eating a carrot and a pie and drinking half a yeah. glass of brandy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good thing about getting white bits in your beard now. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> Story of my life, that is. <laughs> see, this is why I'm cutting my beard very short, because see, ever since I started redoing, see, ever since I started actually doing colour balancing on the cameras the right way, thanks, Gaz, with your fucking crystal clear, sharp fucking reviews, but when I started <laughs> doing the colour balancing correct, every single fucking grey hair showed up and pinpoint fucking precision on every single review. That's why I'm cutting the beard short now. That's also why I'm cutting the hair shorter. I'm not dying my hair. I am not going to dye my fucking hair. Not going to happen. Nope. Dog's happy though, because I've stopped cutting bits off his tail. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to do. I used to cut bits off his tail and leave that on the on the side. <laughs> anyway, should we wrap this up, folks? Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will pick on Mr. Aiden first. Big love to everybody. Thank you very much to the Spanners for looking after us. Thank you very much to chat as well. It's been absolutely fantastic. Make sure you get over to Munchkin. She's an absolute star. Thank you so much for coming on, Munchkin. Um, and keep you. up the, the great reviews as well. Big love to Flat Cap. Missed your loads, Pud. Um, make sure you get over to the Go Sober uh, October. The I've put the link in there. Even if you get... If, Four and a half thousand watch this show if you all put a pound in. But if not, just spread that link. Thank you so much to everybody who has um, actually donated. And all the support I keep getting is absolutely fantastic. If you want to watch the vlogs, get over to the Urban LBV. Look after yourselves and we will see you next Thursday. And that was Aiden. Over to <coughs> Mr. Flatcap of The Vaping. 
of the vaping. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us for another show. It's been absolutely cracking. I really love. Munchkin, I'm sorry if my game was a bit mean. Jules told me off for the game. It was just meant to be a bit of fun. I'm sorry. But it's been it's great, everyone. I wish you the best of luck. Well done. You Thank you. Well have the 200 subscribers and plenty more. So, um, yeah, well done. Well done to you. And Vic and Aiden, as always, thank you for being my friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that was Mr. Flat Cap. On to our guest, Munchkin. Uh, guys, uh, thank you for having me on. It's been a blast. Um, thanks, Glenn, made it in on time with like three minutes to spare. That was good. <laughs> and thanks for all the subscribers as well. That's been really nice of you. And keep watching, and hopefully, I'll get some more reviews up soon once I'm not working. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are busy. You work for the NHS, so you're you you're bound to be busy, especially now with with fucking Ayrshire being in tier three and everything's fucking shut and everything's panicking. Yeah. Oh. Don't get tested. Go get tested. <laughs> 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 Although up here in Scotland, apparently from Monday it's going to be five tiers and not three because we want to be different up here. Anyway, moving on. Don't I saw the because Jimmy Cranky likes cake. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> that is it for the UK Vape Show. A massive thanks to our hosts, Mr. Aiden Littlebro Vapes, Mr. Gas Flat Cap. I would say thanks to Pud, but he's in the middle of a caravan somewhere and is not getting any internet signal, which is why you shouldn't be in a caravan in the first place. And a massive thanks to our special guest, Munchkin Reviews. And don't forget, folks, next week there will be, fingers crossed, the first guest builder if we get things worked out but hopefully fingers crossed the first guest builder to kick off this new contest thing should be appearing next week and pud will be back that is it for the uk vape show episode 274 we will see you all next week that's it from us bye bye, bye. bye. see you later take care that's another one <laughs> <laughs>